Last week, I traded a water park for an abandoned mall in Minecraft. And today, we're gonna attack this mall to try to flip it into something usable and give life back to this ghost town. The mall is massive. There's over 50 individual rooms and people renting it out. So I gotta get this thing back to life because right now it is completely dead. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is like get our bearings down because I haven't even looked through this mall yet. I don't even know what we're about to deal with. All right, so we're gonna check when these owners were last online and if they haven't been on, we're gonna actually kick them out of the mall. This guy was on 14 hours ago, so he still owns this part of the mall. Ah, here we go. This guy's been gone for over a month, 35 days, which means we get to actually kick him out of the mall and take this part back over. How you guys, what? Well, you put new management in charge like me and I come through and I kick everyone out. It's gonna take so long to go through and evict all these people because there's like 40 or 50 people that work here or have worked here inside this shop. So I think the idea for this mall is we're gonna actually keep this mall and rent out spaces to other people. We're gonna have those other people be on all the time and have all these amazing stores. That way people from around the world can come to this server and I'll be able to make money from all the stuff in the middle. I'm gonna own all this stuff in the center to get all that traffic and make us money. So now the difficult thing is I need to lease this out without everyone going crazy to get it. So it's gonna be kind of tough. Guys, we're gonna get our first plot sold right now to Woo Dog. This plot right here would be yours. Prime real estate location, $1 million. Uh, sure. All right, $1 million, send it over. Keep the change. Oh, oh, oh an extra 100,000. Wow, exciting. So now Woo Dog can take this plot, turn it into any kind of store he wants. Ice chunk, here's your two chunks right here, side by side, including the gold blocks. Those will be included as part of your purchase right there. So guys, for this one, we're accepting a burger axe instead of actually accepting like cash. So go ahead and toss that down and this will be yours. Wow, look at that, the burger axe. Oh, that's exciting. Oh. Guys, there we go. Two plots now sold for a very nice axe. Okay, so it's cool to have those people working now. I got to go through the center and just start tearing stuff up. Like this is such a massive project. I don't know how I'm going to get it completed. Looks like we're going for like a serious quartz theme here. So like I'm going to have to leave those holes. I think the main thing we're going to do is just do our construction. Do our any tear down we got to do. Take care of that. I do like the chairs. We'll leave those. I can say. And also, I guess we own this casino. So let's take a look here. Wow, guys, these are all stocked. Like we literally bought a stocked casino, like with pig spawners, cow spawners and everything. There's like millions of dollars of gear in here, guys. Problem is, but I don't know how I'm supposed to make this work. Donation wall. Did in a million dollars to get on here? I mean, it's pretty cool, but I'm going to take it off. So sorry to these folks. <laughs> it's on a new management now, guys. The thing is, I really don't understand how this works. Like they, you can't put chess shops into all of these. So how is this functional ever? It's just a massive waste of space right now. But if I can actually make that useful, it's going to be huge. So what I'm thinking on this plan is we've got this like giant hole right here in the center and this is a huge waste of space because this is where i could be making money we could use this as an outdoor indoor area which they could use to farm animals we're gonna take it down just two layers All right, and just like that, we cleared this entire thing out and basically turned it on to grass. I'm gonna go back in our casino because I'm pretty sure inside of this area, there was a, a zone with a bunch of spawners. So inside of that, we had four different spawners. I take these spawners back. I put the spawners down. These now start spawning random animals. And it's kind of like those play areas you see in mall, except in this case, this play area happens to be spawning animals. You can slaughter in front of everyone and get free food. Oh my gosh, look at the summer themed cows we got on this server. That's pretty fire. We're gonna put these up all around the edges. Don't forget type slash set home to come back anytime for free food. Then players can warp back and forth to get food, especially if they're new. And if we get them in the mall, they're gonna go buy some other stuff, guys. It's literally genius. We're even getting people already here just looking around, like browsing the stores. A lot of casinos though. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like there's just too many. Three of them side by side. Like one of these is gonna go out of business. It's a waste of space. This can become a new shop that I could put here. Okay. So I'm trying to make the outside area right in the center a lot nicer. So we're going to put down a couple public crafting tables that you'll be able to use whenever you're around. So like putting one right there. And then I want to try like an experiment by making some public trash cans, because obviously you might want to throw some stuff away. I don't want there to be any litter around here. So take a look at this. I don't know about this design, but it says, please use trash cans. Keep our mall clean. <laughs> it kind of is weird. But now if I have stuff I want to throw away, I can just pop it in and it should be perfect. So I can put these all around and add public trash cans. And this guy's already cleaning up his room. Look, so we sold it to him for a million dollars. And now he's setting up his new shop. Tennis balls. Oh, he's doing like a sports store with kibble and pets. It's a pet store. I I'll buy another plot for my chocolate elytra. All right, go ahead. Send that over and you got this plot. Is it possible to get one and a half plots? Because this is like 1.6 million. I don't even think our plot system allows us to sell a half plot. I'll pay you 500k. Okay. And then you get it without the half plot. Okay. Boom. There you go. So guys, this is weird, but I'm actually paying him money. <laughs> to take over a plot. So guys, we just sold another plot here. Now Ice Chunk now owns all three of these. So I don't know if it's risky to have one person own that much, but if he's a good partner, he could have a lot. This is a casino that's like under construction and is not even, it's like not even functional. Oh, music disc. I mean, it looks like this has been out of business for a while. Let's take a look at when the owner was last on. We might have to kick him out here. Got like a 30 day notice. So we're going to leave this here selling this place. Wow. Look at this. What is it? Like a paintball arena? Some kind of a shop he started and then just gave up on. Let's see if he's been online. Yeah, he has. So I don't know. These two shops at the end are uh, are pretty close. 
We'll keep that there, September 5th deadline. I think that's fine. Because I want to sell this with every single mall sold out and ready to go. Nice courtyard here. Love this. Okay, two more things. Two more things. <laughs> I'm getting so many ideas right now. We want to keep people here, right? So one of the ways we could do it is by maybe... Oh, did I just throw that? I want to give them a free anvil. So we'll go ahead and put a free anvil like right here. And I think we'll just do an enchanting table there just for like vibes. Like you could use it if you want to, but it's just kind of there to look clean like a fancy reading book. Now to finish cleaning up these. This one's good. This one I kind of got to re redo the whole thing. Do I want to make this one red? Yeah, I think I do. Like, if I made it, like, red and red, like, alternated, that would look really good. So I need to get a bunch of red concrete. So let's clean this up real quick. Man, we're spending a lot of money to get this stuff ready. The amount of marketability we have added to this place already in just a short amount of time is off the charts. So that little strip right there is what we have spent some time on. All of the rest of it is still either untouched or owned by someone that needs uh, kicked out of this mall. I literally haven't even explored most of this. What is this? Is this a restaurant? I mean, honestly, it looks pretty clean. It's just, like, the rest of it is so empty. Like, what is this? Wow, I mean, there's some history on this wall like this one i don't actually want to break like the view outside oh my gosh look at all this cleanup we have to do dude look at this this must be like the original builder's material is still all out here like you had a stone cutter and everything what is this someone dug under is it. like abandoned ruins is there like a door what, what is in this thing it's literally just nothing wow so it's like this giant like sky deck thing honestly i'm not sure what it is but one thing's for sure this all needs to turn to glass immediately this could be like a rooftop restaurant that i sell or something a rooftop store i don't know i could sell this for a lot of money all right let's get that glass on there it's kind of nice honestly i was thinking i could sell this for a ton of money look how much better this looks now the snow on the roof is kind of an issue <laughs> i don't know and i don't know about this but this seems like a prime spot for more glass like a nice view down below like it's it's a beautiful like shell of a build i just don't know why they never finished it we got holes in the grass that need patched we got this thing which looks pretty exotic. Let's take a look at this. Wait, is this some sort of like secret battle arena outside? How did this come with the mall? All right, most of the central part is like pretty clean. We definitely need way more grass in here. Look at this. Marvels and munchies. Massive amount of tables. We have a full courtyard. What the heck? This dude's just here fishing. This is literally mind blowing to me. He's literally fishing. Whoa. Now I want to go see what's outside this wall. So this leads outside and I don't see any reason to not allow you to at least see outside from this area. So we're going to open this wall. You've got a nice way to get outside. We're going to put some staircases down here and we're going to actually give you something to watch outside so while you're here fishing in our free fishing area you'll be able to watch people outside this dude just doesn't even acknowledge me he's just so focused on fishing look at him go he's dropping diamond i don't know very interesting okay let's get this down I don't really think we need a door there. Like, that honestly looks kind of good like that. So, guys, we just sold another plot in the back corner for $2 million at the very edge of this zone. We also added a couple more details all around the mall. But right now, what we're working on is adding some detail to some of these little stands here. So, our first one is going to be Aliens Daily Items. And I'm not really sure the details. But I'm going to put an alien in here. This one's going to be something themed with astronauts. Because that's an astronaut man. <laughs> oh, is this dude bringing animals in? This dude's bringing a creeper in to it. To a shop. You never know what you're going to see in the mall, folks. You just don't. I know half of you guys are going back to school soon. So let's do this. This will be a cafeteria where players can come to vibe and do their homework. Like you could sit down at a table and now I need to give them some like noise to listen to to give them some ambient back noise. This is actually kind of legit. So I was thinking we could do is put a jukebox here in the corner and turn this into like some kind of like music zone in the back and then allow players to come online and listen to music or water and like all the other sensory experiences we're going to give to them and like use this just to vibe and enjoy life. So I'm going to see how it turns out. Let's give it a shot. So what I created is like this little, uh, like little waterfall area, which I think looks really peaceful. Like that's kind of the vibe we're going for here. I'm going to put these down on the sides. So this is where you'll be able to put in music that I give you or music that you bring by yourself. Like that's actually kind of a cool idea. We can add more details to it later. But that works. And then on this side, we're going to do something different by giving them a sensory experience with fire. So you could literally sit down here and enjoy the listen of that while you're in the server, which I think is really cool. Over here, you get the water sensory experience or the music. And like we could keep adding these and expand onto it. But I feel like that's really cool. And then if you need a break from studying, you can walk on over here in real life, do a little bit of fishing or just enjoy the scenery that we've added here. So this is the sign you're going to see. Now, I don't know about the placement in the middle of the path. Maybe it would look better on a corner, but it kind of welcomes you. It says, yo, welcome to the sensory mall with a golden apple on top. It gives you all the rules. Sit down and enjoy. Report rule breakers to police, which we'll eventually get. And like, there you go, guy. Already join it. So the idea is we'll put four of these dark oak saplings here and those will grow into a giant tree. It'll be like an inside courtyard. I'm not sure what we'll call this place, but I like the idea of the golden apple mall. So this looks a lot better in here. Maybe just a couple chairs or a couple crafting tables. Like it's just so empty. Let's clean it up real quick. Oh, he gave me some bone meal. One of our freaking, uh, one of our people that live here gave us some bone meal. Let's grow this sucker up. 
<laughs> is that ever supposed to be possible? What in the world? How do we get the ugliest looking tree ever? I mean, I, we gotta keep it, but like, it's freaking weird looking. I don't know about that one. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Okay, so I thought maybe we could do uh, fences up here. That might look pretty good, and I think it will. It'll kind of look like a gate that can close, which is kind of cool because if we wanted to theoretically like seal it shut, we could add redstone in the future. So that is what you see now. The courtyard at Golden Apple Mall. Like, we need some labeling of people are here from all around the server and the world. They need to know what they're getting into. Tell me that does not look infinitely better than what we had here originally. There's so much more room for detail, but that's like, it's probably like a 10,000 out of 10 from where we were at. Pet shop looks great. I think there's room for some more detail. Very uh, colorful, you know, it's just, there's a lot going on in here. So the subway is, um, it's coming together. It's coming together. It's, they're clearing out. Nice wall in the back. I don't know what he's building, but this looks phenomenal. Guys, we've only done like 25% of this mall and there's a million more details and rooms to loan out to people. So drop a comment below what we should do for the next episode of the mall renovation. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. If you ever need a Minecraft server has a lot of good people on it, you can play.loverfell.com. Let's go.